Well, well, I just made a really bent, boneheaded move today. And, um, well, actually, boneheaded move last night. During my breaks at, from working at Sam Ash teaching students, I was mixing music and listening and making sure that these four tracks I recorded were ready to go. Well, turns out I left my mixing headphones in the trunk of my car. And today is Saturday, and today is the day my husband uses the car all day. So, this sure puts a wrench into my plans, and um, now I'm definitely going to need another week to complete this project of finishing up the EP. So I am really sorry about this. I made a huge mistake. I guess I could take it as maybe this is, um, nah, there's my dog there in the background. She's bored from all the work I've constantly been doing. But maybe I could take this as a, a sign from the goddess, the universe that I need a break. I've been working so hard on this. Maybe it'd be okay to take a little break. So once again, I'm really sorry. I will not be able to record the 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 other two tracks that I wanted to record today because I can't hear myself. I can't record without my headphones and I don't recommend it for anybody out there. And I also can't mix without my headphones. I, all the other headphones will not give me the right, the true sound from the music. So Dragons, I am really sorry. I'll make, I'm, I'm working hard. I'm gonna make it up soon. I'm gonna get this out soon as as soon as possible my goal is to have it all done before friday because friday my mom wants me to see her and i gotta make time for my mom too you only get one mom you know what i mean so if you like this video like and subscribe know anyone who likes my would like my music share it with them too love you dragons you know what to do spread the fire okay so I just finished sharing my boneheaded mistake of forgetting to take my mixing headphones out of the trunk last night. So I'm on a mission. I'm going to take an Uber to my husband's job, Crunch Fitness, and I'm going to get the keys from his locker. because He's a personal trainer. And uh, I'm going to check the trunk of the car, put the keys back in his locker, and use my own spare keys to take an Uber back home. Uh, it's gonna cost me some money, but it's worth it because if it's gonna mean that I can for sure finish this project on time before Friday and just deliver this EP to you guys a month from now on all the digital stores, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, and as soon as I got it, mix and master, deliver it for you on Bandcamp to get it from me directly, then yeah, it's worth it. So I am now outside my apartment complex waiting for the Uber to get here. According to the app, it is a minute away. Okay, so I just got to the gym. Now I'm gonna go inside and look in my husband's locker for my keys and find my car and see if I can find the mixing headphones in there. No to find where my car is. This kind of reminds me of the movie, Dude, where's my car? Where's my car? Oh, our car. I must warn you, my car is a bit beat up. Please don't judge it. Where is my car? Let me go through here. We're in the parking lot of Crunch Fitness. Oh, you can't see it. Palm trees are blocking it. Here in South Florida, we, we tend to have palm trees galore. Oh, you can see it a little better there. Yep, yep, yep. That's the gym my husband works for. So now, back to the mission. Where's my car? I'm telling you. My headphones better be in the trunk or else I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to buy a new pair of headphones. So, again, you can tell this is my car because of course, look at the bumper sticker. Yep, definitely my car. Let's see. Here it is. 
So I got home, got my headphones, but still won't be able to work on music today because after my husband taking a group certification class at Crunch, he's wiped. I'm gonna need to take him to work now. I'm needing to take you now to train your private client because you've been, I don't know, like tortured. Destroyed. Huh? Destroyed. You've been destroyed. Mm hmm. You look so wiped. Huh? So I can go to sleep. Yeah, you could. So this is my husband, Nathan, and he is the genius behind my amazing photography. Hello. <laughs> He's not himself. He's exhausted. Please forgive me.